was so crazy. And so I just want to say, let's clap for the pastors. So today I come to talk um, with a message of encouragement after prayer. And um, so the title of my message is called God Never Leaves. So some of you, and me even, have a tough time, and you're like, God has forgotten about me, he's forsaken me, he is done with me, I am done for. But Deuteronomy 24, my Bible says, for the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. God is fighting for us. Isaiah 12, 2, and behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. He's our salvation, and he's not going to leave us. He's going to fight for us. Because we're not alone in this cold, dark world. God is with us. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, says, Be strong and have a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that does go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. God said in the Bible, He won't forsake us. We can say, God forgot me, God hate me, God loved me, but God. But no, God has not forsaken us. So there's a song that a lot of people like. It's called Amazing Grace. It goes, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Because he didn't forsake us. 
He could have let us die and then just be comfortable in heaven. Because in his humanity, he felt all the pain, the hunger, the thirst, the rejection. He could have called a legion of angels. The Bible says two could destroy cities. So imagine that. Tons of angels. One legion can destroy the world. And God is infinitely better. So imagine his power. Instead, he forgave them, even when his best friends were so good. We think we did wrong. God forgives betrayers, haters, and even killers. He is a really special God. Psalm 86, verse 5, For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenty is in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. God is ready to forgive. We just have to let him. Ezekiel 18, 21. Ezekiel 18, 21 says, that if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he has committed, and keep on my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Isaiah 55, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man is lost, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Amen. Let's end in prayer. <laughs> for your wonderful mercy, for your wonderful joy, and thank you for letting us wake up with you. Thank you for not forsaking us and always forgiving us no matter what we do. In Jesus' name.